The number of people playing pickleball has grown by 159% in the last three years. But as the number of people who play pickleball goes up, so does the number of injuries from the game. In today's Your Healthy Family, I'm showing pickleball players how to stay safe and healthy. Robin Murray says for her, pickleball isn't just a sport. It's a way to stay social. You get to run around and hit the ball <laughs> and and play with people. But the game has taken a toll on her body. She says her first pickleball injury was to her foot from playing too much. I would play every day and it, it's so in a good way addictive that people just play until they're ready to drop. She says she later tore her meniscus in her knee, then had tendonitis in her bicep from playing so much. Doctors say pickleball is a great way to stay active, but it's not without some risk. Just this year, researchers say there will be close to 67,000 emergency room visits, 366,000 outpatient visits, and 9,000 outpatient surgeries related to pickleball. I was in a daily basis we see a couple of people that are getting injured in pickleball. Dr. Luis Gandaro with Orlando Health says most of his patients with pickleball injuries are seniors. He says to make sure you use proper equipment and understand the game. He also says strengthening your lower body and core can help with balance and coordination. Always has fun, but always with moderation. Robin says she's getting regular knee gel injections and wears a brace, but is still able to play the game she loves twice a week. It took me a while to learn the hard way that when you love something, you can't go all out full force the whole time. <laughs> A 2021 study found 60% of pickleball injuries in our country were sprains, strains, and fractures. 20% were bruises, abrasions, or internal injuries, and fewer than 10% were lacerations or dislocations. Dr. Gandara says delaying medical care can make an injury worse, so if you're hurt, make sure to see your provider. For Your Healthy Family, I'm Lisa Greenberg, and for more health stories, head to fox4now.com slash yourhealthyfamily.